ni vizuri kuelewa ya kwamba whatever is hidden in a servant of god it must be dict kile ambacho kimewekwa ndani ya mtumishi wa mungu lazima ukitafute lazima ukitafute Yesu akamwambia Peter follow me and I'll make you the fishers of men Ni, follow me follow me and I'll make you the fishers of men In another word follow me and obtain what I have Na ndio maana Yesu alimpenda Peter. Hakuna mtu mwingine Yesu alimwambia nifuate lakini maandiko yanatuonyesha kwamba Yesu alimwambia Peter nifuate. And I'll make you the fishers of men. It is a person that you follow determines who will follow you in life. Is the kind of a person you follow determines who will follow you in life. Nifuate ndakufanya mvuvi wa watu and peter followed jesus let alone we have come to know who was peter peter became why when peter followed jesus his destiny was released maandiko yanasema ya kwamba in the book of first chronicles chapter number 11 chapter number 11 verse number 1 Then all Israel gathered themselves to David and to Hebron saying behold we are your bones and your flesh Wakaja wakamwambia Daudi sisi ni wako Daudi alitiwa mafuta mara tatu if you never know David was anointed three times the first time David was anointed he was anointed within his brothers Mali Daudi Mali Samuel alichukua mafuta akamtia Daudi. He was anointed in his brothers. Na wakajua huyo Nathan aliyo maguta. Huyu ametiwa mafuta mbele ya ndugu zake. Na sehemu nyingine Daudi anatiwa mafuta ni hapa Hebron. Wakaweja kumwambia Daudi sisi ni wako. We are yours. You must get connected to a man of God you must be connected to a man of god watu wengi wamekaa kwa makanisa but they are no longer connected to a servant of god ndio maana walipomkubali daudi aliwasaidia mahali daudi alipeleka israeli sauli hakuipeleka lakini watu wengi they paid their loyalty to david and they served him waka Angalia hawa maandiko then all Israel Siju kama umeona mkutano ya siasa akisema eh hey, baba eh hey, baba they have gathered because they are paying loyalty to him Kwambia Daudi sisi ni wako wote mifupa yetu na nyama zetu ni zako zote You must make sure ya kwamba you are connected to the source Imagine tunakuja mfereji iko connected na mfereji mkubwa. Istima tuko nayo iko connected na stima ile ingine. They all gathered themselves to David and to Hebron and said, "Behold, we are your bones and your flesh." Wale mnataka nyinyi maana nyinyi ni wahuduma. Ikiwa mnataka kwenda mbali, you must make sure you are connected to a servant of God. Hiyo hakunanga hivi hivi wale watu naona wakubwa the so called the sons of the prophets wale watu mnaona wakubwa wale wachungaji mnawafurahia the reason why today you are celebrating me i am connected somewhere my bones and my flesh are connected somewhere kuna mahali tu nimeunganika ndio maana nimekuwa baraka kwako there is no self made person You can never give birth to your own. Lazima uzaliwe. Haukuzaliwa. Haukujizaa ulizaliwa na mtu. Haukujiita majina uliitwa na mtu. Na kuna jina nzuri kama kuitwa na mtu. There's no good naming 
like when somebody name you maandiko yanasema nao bingu kafunguke kasema huyu ni Yesu mwana wangu ninayependezwa na yeye hearken unto him he is my behold this is my beloved son to whom i am well present listen to him hearken to him na Yesu akasikizwa na ulimwengu majina mazuri ni wakati unazaliwa na mtu na mimi ningelikuwa wewe ningelipenda nizaliwe kiroho na kimaisha nisamange huyu mtu nimetoa hizi vitu kutoka kwake the likes of the big preachers somebody gave birth to them kuna mtu aliwazaa even the so called billionaires somebody gave birth to them sasa shida ulionio ni ya kwamba no you have not committed yourself to somebody kasema sisi ni wako verse number 2 maandiko yanasema nini in times past even when Saul was a king it was thou that leadest out and broughtest in Israel and Jehovah their God said unto thee thou shalt be a shepherd of my people Israel and thou shalt be a prince over my people Israel wakamwambia kwa nini sisi ni wako niki hivyo tulia ku kwa nini sisi ni wako wakamwambia hata wakati Sauli alikuwa mfalme wewe ndiyo uliongoza watu hawa wewe ndiyo uliwaongoza wewe ndiyo uliwaongoza Israeli naye Mungu wako alikuwa pamoja na wewe na ulituletea ushindi siku moja Daudi akasikia kuna kitu anataka kuachilia vitu vya Mungu havipewani bure you must labor even salvation it costed the man Jesus Jesus died as a human being he never died as a man he never died as a, as, as god alikufa kama mwanadamu ndiye atuletee wokovu maandiko yanasema ya kwamba verse number 6 let us go to verse number 6 and david said akawa anasema daudi akazungukwa na maadui waliokuwa karibu na yeye akazungukwa akawaambia akasema and david said whosoever smitten the jebusite first atakaye wamaliza jebusite mara ya kwanza atakaye kuwa mwepesi atakaye attack the jebusite first shall be the chief and a captain and joab the son of zuriah went up first and he was made a chief kasema yule atakaye pigana na jebusite he will become a commander in chief kasema kuna maadui wamenizunguka you must learn how to serve the man of god to obtain his anointing and his grace akasema atakaye kuwa wa kwanza atakaye kuwa wa kwanza kupiga hawa maadui hakuna mtu atampinga atakuwa mkubwa kuwa liko nyinyi wote the one that will conquer the jebusite atakaye the one that shall conquer the jebusite atakaye kuwa wa kwanza he shall become the commander anointing haipatikani hivi hivi hapana grace and anointing does not come cheap Every man of God carries treasure. Atakaye kuwa wa kwanza kupiga hawa maadui. Kitu cha kwanza atakuwa commander. Naye Joabu akaondoka. Akaharakisha. Akaingia. Akawapiga. Aliongea mbele ya watu. I'm talking to ministers. Leo hii wacha nikwambie You can inherit the grace and the anointing that I have. Unaweza ukapata hiyo, I swear. You can get that one. But you must conquer. You must conquer. What say him nasema Your father is not fake, but sons can become fake. Usiende kuuliza mapepe nasema nini juu yako? Hapana. 
itaongea it uongo wako it will talk lie about you wana wasikefu walikuwa but there is a kind of the anointing which is in the father akasema okay i'm your king akasema na yule atakaye daudi akakaa chini akasema hawa watu ni wadogo i cannot go fight with them but the one that will fight yule wa kwanza atapiga mama adui he will become a commander atafanyika commander joabu akachomoka akachomoka anointing does not recognize personality kama hii kitu ni ya kupewa ingekuwa inapewa wale watu napenda kama ni ya kupewa hey, hey. joabu akachomoka akachomoka mwenyewe man alisikia kile Daudi alikuwa anaongea when when a servant of god speaks what do you get from him what do you get from him unapata nini kutoka kwake Musa alimpatia Joshua wakiwa na Kalebu Paulo alimpatia Timotheo Elijah alimpatia Elisha Nisikize tu listen to me Kama Elijah angeulizwa There is a kind of the anointing that comes in your life automatically when you serve a man of God Elijah kama aliulizwa Elijah alikuwa na shule ya manabi. Na katika shule ya manabi, it is like Elijah was very selfish. And I'm sorry to say so. Elijah alikuwa very selfish. Sio alikuwa kama nani. Lakini tu Mungu alimpenda. He was very selfish. Elijah hakutaka kupatia na anointing yake. Hakutaka. Alikuwa na shule ya manabi, alifunza manabi alikuwa nao he lakini Elijah hakutaka kuachilia hiki kitu Elijah hakutaka kuiachilia lakini Elisha akamfuata siku moja tu Elijah akamwambia ungependa nikupe nini Elisha akasema give me the double portion of the anointing Elijah akashtuka akamwambia umeitisha kitu kigumu maana kama alikuwa na moyo wa kukupea maana alijua ali konayo angempatia lakini alimwambia umeitisha kitu kigumu umeitisha na Elisha alimtumikia Elija alimtumikia ndio tunakuja kukudua alimtumikiaje wakati Jehoshafatu ameenda kwa vita maadui amemshinda Jehoshafatu amemuliza je kuna hapa is there a servant of god in our midst wakasema one called Elisha the one that poured water in the hands of Elijah there is one by the name Elisha he poured water in the hands of Elijah wakasema let us go to him na tumuulize Mungu anasema nini wakapata Elisha tu ametulia akasema are you Elisha eh wewe ndio ulimtumikia Elijah eh okay tulizie kwa Mungu kama hii vita tutashinda Elisha akasema nileteni 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 chombo cha mziki. Elisha kaanza kuabudu. Akabudu tu. Ni kama aliona babake Kenya alikuwa anafanya. Akabudu tu. Akabudu. Sauti ya Mungu ikashuka. Akasema Chimbeni mitaro na Bwana atajaza hiyo mitaro na maji. Walienda kwa Elisha maana alitumikia Elijah. He poured water in the hands of Elijah. Elijah hakutaka kumbatia Elisha. Akamwambia na ile siku utaona nikienda utapokea. Unaweza kuimagine Elisha hakuwa analala. Hiyo ni mateso. Hiyo ni mateso. Hakuna mahali Elisha alipewa nafasi ya kuomba. Hakuna mahali Elisha alipewa nafasi. Elisha fold Elijah for many years. Na hakuna mahali aliambiwa simama ombea sadaka. Simama sema the grace. Elijah he never gave chance to Elisha alimtumikia maandiko sema lakini wakati maana Mungu aliona moyo naongea juu ya kutumikia mafuta naongea juu ya remaining connected to the source naongelelea juu ya wewe kupata kile unachotaka naongelelea 
Hii mlango ikifunguka watu wenyu wote wataingia na wakiingia watamuona Mungu. Na ongelelea hii njia. Na ongelelea ile njia utaingia. Ile mlango utaingia ukiingia hivi utatokea pande ingine ya maisha. You will come the other side of life. Hata watu wenyu watasema huyu mtoto amebadilika. Huyu mtu if I remember give yourself time. Hata mimi nipatie muda. Give me time. Nikwambia vitu vya Mungu havinanga haraka. Things of God are not in hurry. Nenda kweli iliyogua na nilikwambia. Wewe umeomba na Mungu hajakuja. Mungu hafanyangi vitu vyake kwa haraka. Never. God does not do his things in a hurry. Mungu vitu vyake ni vya pole pole maana maisha na miaka yote ni yake. Elijah wakati aliondoka akamua na akiondoka akasema akamwache ile nguo ni Mungu tu alimwambia Mungu alimchukua akamwambia how can you go up na uli huyu kijana amekutumikia Elisha alikuwa anaona akiondoka akasema wadi go go lakini Mungu hangeruhusu Elisha hakutaka kupatia Elisha lakini Elisha alitaka kupatia Gehazi hapo ndio Cairo yuko Elisha alipenda kupatia Geazi. Elijah hakutaka kupatia Elisha. Ni Mungu aliingilia katikati. Elisha alimwaminia Geazi, hata alimpatia fimbu. Kamwambia beba hii fimbu. Enda kwa yule mama, ende uwekelee huyo mtoto. Ende ufanye kile anafanyanga. Elisha alipatia Geazi madhabahu. Yule mama alibarikiwa kwa sababu ya kumtunza Elisha Elisha akaenda akaekelea fimbo mtoto wa mki alikuwa na mtini kufada na miujiza Kaambia kiasi hilo utabeba lakini the more Elisha alikuwa connected Gehazi hakutaka hiyo anointing he was looking for something else than the anointing na hapo ndio wewe tuko na wewe nataka nikuinue na wewe uko na maisha yako kama mwanadamu wa kawaida uko na ile ya kunyu unataka mimi nataka hii elisha anataka kupatia gehazi lakini gehazi he is not willing i'm speaking to ministers of the gospel naongea na pastors naongea na watu wakubwa Siku moja tu utanikumbuka. Nataka nikuonyeshe jinsi ya kubarikiwa but you are not ready. Because kama Geazi alikuwa angefanya kile Elisha alimwambia he could go to the trip anointing. Elijah alifanya 8 miracles. Elisha alifanya 16 miracles. Kwa hivyo Geazi angefanya lakini the more Elisha alitaka Geazi alimwambia Je Elisha alimwambia Elijah It's like my master never needed to give me this anointing but God gave me because I served that man wholeheartedly Ni Mungu tu alinipatia Akamwambia Geazi mimi sikudanganyi I'll give you this anointing Na ndio maana alikuwa na mtuma mtuma He could send him regularly but his heart was not right with Elisha. Na ndio maana hata Elisha anamwambia, "Isi wa wakati ya kwenda kuchukua pesa. This is not the time. This is not the time." Hata roho yangu iliena pamoja na wewe. Gehazi akapoteza hapo. Daudi akasema, "Na yule atakaye piga maadui. Thank you Jesus. Na yule atakaye piga maadui." Yule atakaye piga maadui nitamfanya kuwa mkubwa. The next verse maandiko nasema nini? Verse number 7. And David dwelt in the stronghold therefore they called it the city of David. Na Joabu akavuka akapiga maadui. Siku moja Caleb akasikia anataka kuinua watu. Men of God are lifters of men. Men of God are lifters of men. Because waliinuliwa na Mungu 
na wanainua wanadamu whenever you connect to a man of god he lifts you up either spiritually physically materially everywhere siku moja kalebu akasema wakiwa na Joshua in the book of Joshua chapter 15 verse number Joshua 15 verse number 16 and Caleb said he that smite he that smite cried sefa and take the it ha to him i'll give aska my daughter to wife kama sema yule atapigana na hama maadui yule atakaye pigana na hama adui na aichukue kutoka kwa mikono yao huyo mtu nitampa mtoto wangu awe mke wake siju kama unanielewa tu siju kama unanielewa daudi akasema yule atapigana kwa niaba yangu nitamfanya komanda karabu akasema yule atakayechukua maadui awanyang'anye tampatia mtoto wangu awe mke wake na saudi akasema yule ataua goliathi nitapatia mtoto wangu awe mke wake na familia yao haitatoshwa ushuru daudi akasikiza akasema eh hey, nipewe binti ya mfalme e hey, atutalipa taxes daudi akaondoka during your possession to receive the grace of god in your life you need two things in life spiritual and physical spiritual and physical you need just two things spiritual and physical ile kitu najua ni ya kwamba i can train you physically but spiritually i cannot train you i can train you physically but spiritually i ca- i cannot anoint you siwezi nikakupaka mafuta anointing hutafutwa you are not taught about anointing but you catch the anointing you catch you catch anointing is not given but you catch the anointing anointing is not given you catch the anointing lazima nikwambie kile Mungu amenifanyia ndiye wewe ufanye kile nimefanya ndiye Mungu anibariki serving to tap the honor serving to get the anointing serving to get that portion ukiwa muhuduma Hakuna njia ingine. Ni kutumikia huyu mtu akupatie kile ako nacho. Number one, Obey the word of his mouth. Ti maneno ya kinywa chake. Daudi akasema, "Ni nani atapigana na hawa maadui?" Joab akaondoka. Kale akauliza nani atakaye pigana na hiki jiji nimpe mtoto awe mke wake akaondoka Daudi akasikia yule atakaye piga Goliathi atapewa Mikeli Daudi akachomoka First thing obey his words Second thing serve him Unajua ni kwa nini Daudi aliingia kwenye ufalme Daudi aliingia state house. Kitu cha kwanza kama Before ingia state house Daudi alikuwa anaenda kule kucheza ki, ki, kinanda. Wakati Daudi alitiwa mafuta, roho ya Mungu ilitoka kwa Sauli ikaingia kwa Daudi. Na roho mchafu akamwingia nani? Sauli. Sasa Sauli akawa anasumbuliwa na mapepo. Maana ile roho ilitoka, roho inahamanga. Roho inahamanga. 
You have never known that. Roho inahamanga. Saizi yule mko na yeye roho inaweza ikahama ikuje juu yako ama ikutoke ama yende to the next. Kulingana na jinsi unavyo ifanyishia kazi. Daudi alikuwa anaenda pale anacheza tu bila tu. Anacheza tu kinanda. Daudi hakuwa anajua Mungu anampeleka state house. Huko anacheza kinanda atakuwa mfalme. But what was so much interested in David? He needed to serve. Can you serve your seniors? Ndi upata kile wako nayo. Manwe sema, and them that serves me, my father shall honor them. Obey your seniors and serve your seniors to things. Obey your seniors and serve your seniors. Caleb wakasema, yule atakaye shika hizo kijiji. Dabatia msichana wangu wawe mke wake. Kukainuka mtu. Jifunze kuwa mwanafunzi ufunzwe ndiye uingie to the next level Simama na miguu yako Serving to tap hona Hallelujah